Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wiles coming live to you from Houston, Texas with his inspirational morning walk. But I gotta get some walking in later, man. I gotta get some walking in later. But um, yes, but for first time listeners, I just get some exercise in the mornings and I share my thoughts with you guys, whatever I'm inspired to talk about. But this morning, I'm now gonna be walking right after this. Got business to take care of, and then I can get some work later on the day. But today, I can send you guys into the weekend. I can be, I'm gonna try and be quick today. I can, um, what I wanna do, I wanna remind everyone how important we all are, how important mankind is to this world and to God. I know you're probably going through some stuff right now, you're feeling a little. Yeah, feeling significant in some cases. You're probably going through divorce. You're sick. Your stuff not going right at the job or home, and you, you're a little dumb. I just want to remind you how important you are and the authority that you have and everything. So, I want to send you into the weekend on a positive note, right? So first, what I want to do, I want to look at Psalms eight three through nine. Psalms eight three through nine, and what King David was saying, what King David was saying, right? He said, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, this is what the psalmist was saying, he considering all these great things that God do, all of God's great creation, right? He said, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. Right, so he's saying, man, all of these wonderful things that you created, God. You created all of these wonderful things, amazing world that you create. But what it is about mankind that you are, are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. What is so special about man? He's saying, what is so special about man that you care for us so much, Right. So have you made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor? <clears throat> so I want you to know today, you are a little lower than the angels and you got a lot of tart, you got a lot of power, right? He said you were crowned them with the glory and the honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hand. You put everything under their feet. Some other translation said you gave uh, everything under their authority. All the flocks and the herd, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, and, the, and all that sw uh, that swim the path of the sea. So he's saying, man, God is a big responsibility. You make all of these wonderful things, all of this great creation, and you put mankind in charge of all of this. How awesome is this? He's still trying to figure it out. Why you put us in charge of all of this, right? And this is what he's saying. We are, we are very important. We are very important to this world because as we saying before, God gave man the authority on this earth. He just make this world and then he threw the keys to us and said, you guys run things there, right? So it said, no spirits are legal here. Man is who run things here. If you don't have a body, this body will come from the dirt. You are not legal here, right? So we are, we got so much authority. We just need to use our authority, right? We got so much authority we just need to use that authority. So if you're feeling down right now, you, you, you turn to your scriptures. Remind yourself the authority that you have on this earth, right? Even God himself, he need us to come and do things down here, right? So let's go to Psalm 91, one of my favorite. I'm going to read a little bit from there. I'm going to read a little bit from there. Psalms 91, 1 through 8. It says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty, He's saying, man, we got all this greatness, God care and love for us, but it's a prerequisite to it to really enjoy all the benefits of what, uh, you know, what we got here. He said, you got to put your trust in the Most High. You got to be under His shelter, right? If you're under His shelter, here we saying about the Lord, if you're under His shelter. It says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. So he's saying, man... This is why he's declaring about the Lord. If you under his shelter, right, this is what all going to happen. He said, he alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. 
for he will rescue you from the traps and protect you from deadly diseases. How much of us don't want that? He say he rescues you from every trap, and you know how much trap man can set for us. And he say he'll protect you from deadly diseases. How much deadly diseases is going on here right now that we need protection from, right? He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings, right? His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Here we saying here. Do not be afraid of terror of the night, right? You know, some people, night is a problem for them. They're frightening the night. They get nightmares. They get bad dreams. They get uh, certain things happen to them at night. He said, nor the arrow that fly by in the day. Do not dread the diseases that stalks in the darkness, right? So if you afraid of night, you get a nightmare, stuff happening to you at night, he say, man, you got to put your trust in the Lord. And if you put it in, in, in him and this stuff still happening, I mean, you got a little opening somewhere that giving the enemy the right to harass you when night come. He said, do not dread the diseases that stalk in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midnight, right? Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evil will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked will punish you. You can go and read the whole Psalms 91. It's a really, really great um, psalm. But, but, but the psalmist is saying, which is King David in this case, he's saying, man, God, you make this beautiful world with all these great creations. But you chose us, man to run things here you choose us right you choose us and he's saying if we only come under his protection it's like a seed oh miles monroe put it the seed got a forest in it but not until you put it in the ground and start to water it and stuff then it can grow right if you just leave it on a ledge it's just gonna remain a seed so he's saying but the prerequisite you got to get into his word you got to follow him and come under his protection and then all the greatness and the authority that he gave us we can rule right in psalms 91 for the dunk saying you will trample upon the lion and the cobras you will crush fierce lion and scorpion so he gave us all that authority over everything he on earth he gave us that authority and once we come under his shelter and do his will follow his word we can achieve all the greatness that he put down in mankind here to achieve. And if you're not achieving that, just know we got some opening somewhere. Some so probably some covenant out there, some some family um curses out there. Some one of those things preventing you from getting all the shelter that I talk about in Psalms ninety one. So we did all of that before. You could look back at that and address those things and get his full come under his full protection so he can protect you. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave that going into the weekend, guys. I'm going to leave that going into the weekend. You guys have a great, great weekend, and we can talk again on Monday. Okay, bye.